it's been wonderful already. It's been enough words, really. It's been said. If you took tea, proper joy with preaching here. It's wonderful how much God's mercy goes out. It's wonderful how much His love that He was in His Son to die for us. And how wonderful that His Son, His only begotten Son, Son of God, made a way that we would recognize Him by the Spirit. He said, I have to go, in my words. I have to go, though there be another comforter who come to you. Who is that comforter? And that is the Holy Ghost. He was spoke there once after he had risen from the dead and he appeared to many that he breathed unto some of them the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The baptized. Mm-hmm. That's how mighty powerful God is today that he loves us, that he sent him to make that possible yeah. for each and every one of us. Well, but Joey, we're talking about the law, that I just a minute rejoice my heart. The truth <laughs> is that the law... We're all dead under the law. It, there's nothing for us under the law. We're dead. Right. It was all applied and it was alive to the Jew, the chosen one, the twelve, the twelve tribes of Israel. It's Moses' uh, law. And he wrote that law, but God gave him that law. He wrote it into the stone. Yeah, tablets. But what an awesome God that we do have, that He loves us enough that even when we were disobedient, those people, while Moses was up in the mountain confronting God and He wrote the law, they were down there being disobedient to God. God knew all about it. He knew all about it. What had they done? God is a jealous God because He loves every man and every woman in this world. There's one thing that He don't want you to do and that is worship every idol or committing adultery with idols. He don't want you to worship the image. He don't want you to worship into stones or tablets or letters. He wants you to worship Him in spirit and truth. God loves you. Yeah, why? Because he sent his son. How much love he has. Oh, that he descended and descended into the bottom pits of hell. Oh, he loves you, Dad. I let his son stretch his arms out. I let he love the whole world. I let that love. I mean, I'm sorry. 
this God that I love. Because he saved me. Because he first loved me. This God, the beautiful sound that we hear from time to time touches our heart and we know that that Holy Ghost touches us. We know we are His. And yes, and I'm glad that He come into my life and took a bold in me. And I'm glad that He can move me, teaches me, and guide me through this life. How amazing how our God is today. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. What blind! But now I see my chains are gone. I been set free. My This part, the Lord has promised, oh, so good to me. His words, my hope to kill. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. My chains are gone. How wonderful it is amazing. How wonderful a, a love and serving God. He's the creator. He created every one of us. And he wants us to give him the glory and the honor for this life. He wants us to worship him in spirit and truth. I know that through this life, men and women have always went through trouble, have always went through sorrow and heartache. I know those good times and those bad times. I'm like Brother Jerry, I enjoyed for a moment of sin. I've done things that I'm sorry now for what I've done. And it took me places I didn't want to go. But because of prayers and because of the love and mercy yes, that was bestowed upon every man and woman in this life, he taught me, he died me, he led me when I didn't even know it. Yes, yes he gave me a conscience like what Jerry said, and he teaches me right from wrong. He let me know what foot is, what step that I took in this life. And it taught me some of the things. I'm glad that I was raised up in a good home. But yes, man, when I stepped out in sin, I done things yes. that wasn't approved by up to mom and dad. Yes. But I had an awesome God that I watch everything in this world. He sees everything you do in this life, and He knows your heart. He knew you before you was born. He knows that about uh, your name and uh, uh, yes he gives you something uh, and that is love uh, he gives you mercy uh, uh, he gives you 
he began saying, God, I came into the world, I had a bond to tree, I let those soldiers, I drove in their sweet hand, and they even, and they went and they ate the song, I made him crown, I put it upon his head, I let them, I put the stars on him, How beautiful was that dove that ascended above his head? A voice from 
up from heaven. I tell you, this is my beloved son. In whom I'm well pleased. I'm glad today. I want you to please him. Amen. With everything in me. Yeah. That's I hope you do too. Yeah, you got that in your heart. Oh. Please your Father because He is your Creator. Amen. And you are His creation. Yes, Amen. Amen. Keep on going.